Welcome back to another video of Dreams. Um, I just want to let you guys know right off the bat, there is no new gameplay. Um, the entire level though is new, which is why I'm uploading this video. So if you guys want to see what else they made, because I mean, if they uploaded a new picture about Dreams, I want to see it, right? So I'm like, if there's a new level, I want to see it. So that's why I'm uploading this video. But I don't want you guys scrolling the entire video hoping that there's even like some new crazy dragon coming out. Like, you know what I mean? Nah, bro, it's just like the same stuff balloons and fireworks you know i ain't mad they have to follow the strict guideline when it comes to these kind of events so i ain't, I ain't tripping the dude tried though man i think he asked abby to make like a new character and abby was like nah you good nah we're not making a new character bruh all right we're making fireworks and we making balloons again like okay i mean that's how it's gonna be you know what i'm saying so look i'm not even mad at her because you know you have to follow a strict guideline i'm pretty sure meeting model can say hey listen abby okay don't show nothing else but balloons and fireworks are we clear you know i don't think they said as harsh as that um i'm pretty sure that's just how it went down and whatnot but yeah there's nothing new just want to say it again because i don't want you guys wasting your time and watching the entire video and being like bro what are you doing, bro? This is the same gameplay, man. I'm like, bro, I, ju I just told you so. Yeah. Catch you guys in the next one. Peace. Right. And then we'll, we'll ask the chat. Then fragen wir den chat. Okay. Um, was ihr so wollt. Wir, wir können euch jetzt alles bauen. Mal gucken. So here you'll find a lot of different tutorials that will teach you how to make things in Dreams. Mm -hmm. um, but we're just going to like hop right in and start from scratch. And there's all sorts of things that you can make. You can make like an animated film. You can make music. You can make characters. You can make uh, special effects. That's one of my favorite things to do. But we're gonna uh, we're gonna hop into to game. Okay. So if you wanted to start from scratch, you would start here. Uh, but I prefer to start from something someone else has made. So I'm going to uh, look for uh, basically a level that someone else has made, and I'll just add my own sort of mark onto it. So I happen to like this space one. Mm -hmm. So we're going to remix it. Okay, so also now we verarbeiten jetzt das Level von jemanden, ähm, der das schon gebaut hat. Und äh, Abby wird jetzt anfangen mit uns allen zusammen das ein bisschen äh, zu verändern. So, what, quick, what can we do now? So, everything in this level is editable and remixable. And we can also just hop into play mode really quickly so that we can sort of see what we're working with. We have this cute little character. Hello, everyone. Hi. Um, and now we'll hop back into edit mode. So, what should we do? Um, I'm going to start by changing this. I would rather have to it. You do. Uh, we should do characters you can we should do <laughs> hey that's <laughs> hey that's <laughs> ah uh, <laughs> uh, but i think the best way to show you dreams is actually for us to just make something live um so i'm going to exit from our play mode and uh let's go make something okay um what can we do it's like a a, a, a white um White piece of canvas. I have no idea what ah. we should do. Maybe so we should. Maybe we should. Um, okay, maybe we should just start, and then we'll we'll ask the chat. Then fragen wir den chat. Okay. Um, was ihr so wollt? Wir, wir können euch jetzt alles bauen. Mal gucken. So here you'll find a lot of different tutorials that will teach you how to make things in Dreams. Mm -hmm. um, but we're just going to like hop right in and start from scratch. And there's all sorts of things that you can make. You can make like an animated film. You can make music. You can make characters. You can make. Uh, Special effects, that's one of my favorite things to do. But we're gonna uh, we're gonna hop into to game. Okay. So if you wanted to start from scratch, you would start here. Uh, but I prefer to start from something someone else has made. So I'm going to uh, look for uh, basically a level that someone else has made and I'll just add my own sort of mark onto it. So I happen to like this space one. Mm -hmm. So we're going to remix it. Okay, so also now wir, wir verarbeiten jetzt das Level von jemandem, ähm, der das schon gebaut hat. Und äh, Abby wird jetzt anfangen, mit uns allen zusammen das ein bisschen äh, zu verändern. So, what, quick, what can we do now? So, everything in this level is editable and remixable. And we can also just hop into play mode really quickly, so that we can sort of see what we're working with. We have this cute little character. Hello, everyone. Hi. Um, and now we'll hop back into edit mode. So... What should we do? Um, I'm going to start by changing this. I would rather have like a like bright glowing moon. So I'm going to add a little glow here. Uh -huh, okay. 
going to do this. Now we have like a cool little extra moon for our scene. Um, but I'm going to start like How building. How did you ju just do that? <laughs> did, you, did you just add the shadow or did you put one, one black ball put, into the white ball? I just put the, I just put one on top of the other. And uh, but that's, so a, but that's a 2D um, object? It's actually a 3D object. All of these are 3D objects. Okay. So um, I'm starting to just like move these. I can make them bigger. I can make them smaller. And I could start to build like a level for my character. Um, so we could build a place for uh, the space orange to go. Uh, we could make like a massive mountain here. Um, but basically, making things in, in 3D space is as easy as just picking up an item, moving it, stamping it, uh, you know, cloning it around. Um, if I wanted to, I could take things that other people have made, uh, assets, and I could start using those to build. So I like... So basically, you're inviting uh, the, the community to create things which then can be shared with uh, all the other players in the world. Exactly. Okay. Also jeder, der das hier spielt, kann die Dinge, die er da gebaut hat, ob es jetzt Levels sind oder Levelobjekte oder Spielweisen, was auch immer, ähm, kann die dann wie schon in Level Planet hochladen und andere Leute können sich die dann runterladen. Also Abby baut hier jetzt gerade ein, eine obskure äh, Mondlandschaft. Mit kristallinen Strukturen. Gut, wieso nicht? So... Dreams lets you do everything that like we do in a game development studio, because uh, we actually have used this tool to build uh, our own game. So uh, for everything that you can do in this, there's also like sort of an introductory one. So this is sort of the introduction for art. Rather than creating these uh, assets from scratch, mm -hmm. we're just taking ones that other people have made, we're stamping them around, and we're sort of making something that looks like our own. Uh, also, this planet needs three rings. I'm just going to do that right yeah, now. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, I mean, obviously. So next I'll show you the sort of introduction to animation. Okay. I'm Falls going ich wundert, warum ich so still bin. Ich bin gerade ein bisschen baff, was, äh, was hier alles vor sich geht. Das ist schon ganz schön viel. Ich hätte jetzt halt vielleicht irgendwie so eine Plattform gebaut und danach einen Ausgang und dann wäre es mit meiner Kreativität schon am Ende. Action recorder, so. Yes, so I've taken an action recorder and what happens when I put this down is that the game will record the next thing that I do. So if I lift this platform up and down, I have now made a moving platform. Uh -huh. And what's also cool is if I do that with a character, uh, I can record the next thing that my character does. So if I was making like a little cutscene or an animated short, I can make my character like move around and jump around the level and the game will record all of that and play it back to me. Mm -hmm. But Maybe that would be cooler if I turned the microphone on and I made a noise for my character while I did it. Okay. Uh, this is a really can you do that? I sure can. Uh, this is a really easy way to start like adding uh, voiceover and narration for your characters. So I'm going to go back into the animation tool and I'm going to turn on the microphone. And now... Hello, everyone. When we play this back... Aha, uh -huh, okay. <laughs> My character now says hi to everyone. Can you remix the sounds um, by themselves also? So can you c could you give yourself a lower voice? Can you give yourself a lower voice? Can you give yourself a lower voice? Or do you um, estrange the sound? Uh, absolutely. In fact, I'm going to make you do that. <laughs> estrange the sound or say hello everyone? <laughs> I can do the last, uh, the latter part uh, of that. Well, so I'm going to open our sound mode, okay. and uh, this is the way that we make um, like sound effects and music and everything else in Dreams. And I'm going to open a sound recorder. So after uh, after I put this down, I'm going to count you in. And mm -hmm. if you just say something into the uh, PlayStation camera right here, um, then... Ich klapp das mal hoch, weil es wird wahrscheinlich laut, weil die Kamera so weit weg ist. Okay, so three... What, what do I have to say? What, uh, anything, it's up yeah, to you. But who am I giving a voice? Uh, oh, no, you're just, we're just going to make your voice into like um, an instrument or something. We're going to do exactly what you just asked for. So three, two, one... I am an instrument. <laughs> okay, so now uh, when I open this up, I am an instrument. we have you okay, saying, I am an really instrument. Really cool. And what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to trim this little clip down so you just cut off the okay. beginning where you're not saying am, anything. Am, and now you are, I am an instrument. you are an instrument. But there's a lot of options that we can do from here. So if I open this up, we can do, uh, you know, what you talked about. We can make I that like, I am an instrument. 
uh, we can change the the pitch. We can change. We can add reverb. Like we can add all sorts of things. We have like tons of different effects that you can add. And all this looks all. This might look intimidating, but most of the way that I figure out how to do things in Dreams is to just play around with it because you get real-time feedback. You can hear the changes that you're making, and when you're playing in the art tools, you can just see the changes that you're making. That's what I was going to ask you. This next thing I was going to ask you. That's what I was going to ask you. Intimidating war genau das richtige Wort. Äh, einschüchternd, diese vielen, vielen Optionen, bis man sich da mal reingefuchst hat. Um, is there a tutorial phase where you going through all the possibilities, where you learn everything from scratch and step by step? Yeah, we have a lot of tutorials. Um, so we, we definitely teach everybody all the things that we're doing. When I open this up, what I just did was I chose to make your voice into an instrument. So now it's assigned your voice to this C button. But the rest of the face buttons now play your voice in a different note. Oh, okay. So we've just made you into a little playable instrument in Dreams. Can I can I remap the um, buttons to do an easier um, tonal scale than having D sharp twice, for example? Ah, well, I can show you a different way that you can uh, that you can make music and sounds in Dreams and do that kind of editing if you really want to get into like the sort of uh, like nitty gritty of it. Let's make a music track together. Okay. So I'm going to open a timeline. And timelines are the way that we do lots of things in Dreams. From uh, If you've ever used like video editing software, yes. you've probably seen a timeline. Uh, so just like that, this is our level from start to finish. Okay. Um, so if we're going to make a music track, uh, we also have a bunch of pre-made things, just like we have all of those like various different like assets and, and things that you can choose from. Mm -hmm. We also have that for music. So. We'll go into music clips, and uh, I'll let you choose um, what we make. Uh, so let's let's do drums first. Okay. And I want a very simple hip hop beat, please. Basics. Hip hop beat. We'll just put that up there. And um, so can you I edit? Can you edit the the basic beats? Yes, you can. Okay. So you could change all the different like uh, pitch and tone on that, or we could open this up. And you can see the notes that were played, but that could be a little bit difficult to edit. Mm -hmm. So you could actually take that into a piano roll, and you could edit mm -hmm. each and any of okay. these individual mm -hmm. notes. In fact, if you were like super, super into the audio stuff, you could actually see that in sample form and mm -hmm. get into like okay. way more granular editing. But uh, we okay. don't need to do that today. Um, would you choose like a, a bass line or something else for us? Let's create a piano line first. Uh, Chords on see. piano. I think we've got. So what do we have in here? Rimbas. Also, we're trying to put a piano on it. Well, there's a piano. We can. I have no idea what this sounds like because I can't really hear well. So let's. Can you can you edit? Okay, that might be going to a little bit too far for for our little uh, show here, but. Okay. Okay. That's interesting. So. Uh, we also have instruments in Dreams, and just like we just did with your voice, uh, we have uh, hundreds of different uh, instruments that you can play. So I have one that I like because I'm not super musical, and I just find it really satisfying to play. It's this like 80s teen uh, synth pad. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to open that up, and by pressing the face buttons, like I'm starting to play notes. And I can hold those and sustain them. If I use the touchpad, I can bend them. Uh, and when I click both thumbsticks, I can start recording myself. Mm -hmm. Also, uh, Abby holt jetzt gerade einen Synthesizer reingeholt und nimmt jetzt da einen Part auf, den sie gerade frei improvisiert. Und das fühlt sich jetzt schon zu einem ganz äh, brauchbaren Soundtrack zusammen, dafür, dass es jetzt ungefähr eine Minute gedauert hat. And so then we can, you know, see those notes play back. Uh, what I did when I recorded that. And we could also, again, see that in a piano roll. So if I wanted to go in here and I felt really picky and I wanted to edit everything, like, I mm -hmm. could. But um, I'm pretty happy with it, so I'm going to add it to our track. And, yeah, in, like, two minutes, we've created, like, a tiny musical okay, track. Okay, that's cool. Can we um, can we save that and try to create um, something with our community, uh, some kind yes, of level absolutely. or something uh, pretty pretty simple but pretty pretty sure. weird. So uh, yeah, do you want to create a music track or what no, else do you want to create? No, I think create? we should we should create something uh, playable. <laughs> okay. Can, can we start from scratch with a level? Or would that be uh, too too difficult now to um, create? We could, but for the amount of time we have, it's probably easier to just stay in this okay. thing and we can do a bunch of things within this world. Then maybe we should do a little platformer and. Um, 
Let's ask the chat. Was wollt ihr denn sehen? Lieber Chat, ähm, was, was, was sollen wir denn bauen? Also wir bleiben jetzt hier mal auf diesem kleinen Mond. Wir haben uns jetzt auch schon einen fiesen äh, Synth-Track gebaut, um das Ganze musikalisch zu untermalen. Jetzt hätten wir noch gerne eine Spielidee. Was, was sollen wir denn machen? Wir haben jetzt eine sprechende Orange mit einem Partyhut, die Abbys Stimme hat. Ähm, meine Stimme ist, wurde auch schon zu, äh, verfremdet zu einem Track. Wir haben eine schwebende Plattform. Okay, jetzt haben wir sie nicht mehr. Um, ja, und wir haben eben diese, diese Berge hier. Explosionen. Ah, okay, that's a, that's a great idea. We, what we should uh, add to this level and create some kind of little game edit um, out of it is we need monsters and explosions. Oh, yeah, I mean, so obviously, we, it's a name. So we, need a, we need a blue <laughs> monster um, with eyebrows that are horns. Oh, actually. my God. Uh, so oh, let's, okay. make, let's make a furry guy <laughs> in blue and a, and a naked guy in orange. So, uh, well, I hate to disappoint you on that. I'm not an artist. So, okay. like, doing that, like, making an actual character on stage uh, is probably not going to happen in the can time I we try? have allotted. I can make explosions. Okay. Can I try creating characters after you've done the explosions? Um, yes, you can. But, like, making a character is, uh, like, a more involved process. Uh -huh, uh, okay. So that's, like, because you would be, you know, making specific animations to go with that character in a specific look. Um, so Maybe we can create an ugly one just to show people how that <laughs> might work if we put more effort, in effort into it. Um, well, let's make explosions first, okay? Okay, first the explosions. All right. So... Uh, I'm using the paint mode in Dreams, mm -hmm. and like it doesn't look like much when you see it like this. But uh, if I am to take like a different brush or something, um, I can start to make this little line. And with this little line, there's actually a lot of things that I can do. So I'm going to also open. Also, sie hat jetzt einfach eine Linie in die 3D Welt reingemalt. A tweak menu. And what color are explosions? So we have red explosions, orange explosions. Uh, that looks good to me. Mm -hmm. And we're going to add some glow. And now I'm going to add some animation to that. So uh, I'm going to start this line uh, moving. And maybe if I make it pulse. Uh, and then we have a lot of options for like what you can do with this. So like if you were making rain or like I guess this is more like fiery rain, you would sort of duplicate this around uh -huh. the camera and then wherever you go in the level, like that's going to follow you. So it's a good way to make like weather effects. Mm -hmm. um, but we want explosions, so probably have that just rotate okay. out in all directions. Uh, maybe we can make more of that so it's like a bigger explosion. And in fact, this we really looks wanted like fireworks. to this is nice. Yeah, it's really pretty. So we could also, you know, duplicate those just by sort of cloning it out like we did with the other ones. And uh, we can also, I just made you that just planet made in the background. The yeah, and then bigger. I made that one smaller. So uh, I'm going to scale that up. So now we have a bigger explosion. And yeah, that was like two second explosions. Okay. Uh, and a monster. I mean, I'm sad you don't like my little party orange, but... Um, I like I like <laughs> the orange, but uh, the chat did decide we need uh, monsters and explosions. Well, can I try creating a monster? I don't mind if it looks like I don't know, inbred, but <laughs> I want to oh. try. Is that possible? Um, you so don't want me to, to try be that? honest, no, uh, because nah, okay. characters are one of the harder harder things ah, to create okay. in dreams. Can I create something easier than a character? Maybe a, a rock? Oh yeah, absolutely. Okay, so. Our sculpt mode, and as I pointed out, I'm not an artist. If we had one of our uh, like our artists or animators on here, yeah, they could probably make a character for you pretty fast. Um, that's pushing my ability in the game a little much. But okay. so we do have this sculpt tool, and um, uh, and this is basically how everything in Dreams is made. So by sort of stamping these uh, you know primitives and shaping them into uh, like various objects. So. I am not a really uh, great artist, like I said, but I can make kind of a... Mm, I'm going to make a balloon, and I'll, I'll show you why in a second. So Okay. So now I have this balloon, um, and there's a few things that I can do with it. Uh, I can actually make it have physical properties. Um, I can also change its color. Uh, I can change its sort of texture, so we have something that's like... Look shiny like a balloon might. Um, and then actually, I'm going to make it into rainbow colors. So I'm going to take this uh, little, um, I'm going to take the action recorder and put it in the level and grab our thing. And I'm going to make it rainbow colored. So you can record anything you do in yeah. the game and, okay. 
Yeah, in fact, if I wanted to change the lighting in this level, and maybe I wanted to make it go from like day to night, I would do the same thing with, uh, with this gadget, which is changing where the sun is in, in uh, the sky. So <laughs> all the th tools and dreams are made to work together. So you can, uh, once you're learning one thing, you can start to apply it to like other learning. Uh, and what I'm going to do with this is I'm going to give it the characteristics of a bloom. So if I go into the physical properties, I'm going to make it movable. When I start timing the level, it's going to fall to the ground. And you can, oh, you know what? We have the microphone on, so it's recording my voice. Hold on. So we basically have a, a flashing talking balloon then. Yeah, so now we have a flashing talking balloon that's just like, talking like, like me. Like in my dream last night. Same thing. So uh, let me reset that balloon, and uh, I'm just going to tweak its properties again, just to make it a little bit more balloon-like, like make it bouncy and squashy and that fun stuff. Uh, let's up the bounce. While you while you up the bounce, um, how the make f do you come up with all this stuff at Media Molecule? <laughs> how how um, how do you create something like this? Do you, was there a meeting and everybody said, okay, let's do. A game where you can do anything. Uh, how do you start, and kind how, of. Do you, how do you how do you um, f so how do you find out all the properties? Okay, we need m waxy versus metally. Also, wie wie legen Sie diese ganzen Variablen fest? Okay, ein Objekt ist entweder eher wachsartig oder metallen. Wie fängt man denn an, sowas zu bauen? So, uh, our creative director, Mark Healy, started creating games on the Commodore 64, and it's really sort of inspired the studio as a whole to. Um, like make creative games for people that can also help them make stuff at home on their couch, mm -hmm. just like he did growing up. But um, you know, some of this is done just through uh, uh, like experimentation and playing around. And what I'm going to do now is just um, make our uh, balloon just keep spilling out of this thing. Maybe we'll up the like emit speed, and now they're just like shooting out at the ground, and we can have the time between that. Uh, so now I've just created basically like a balloon generator. Is this like um, <laughs> a, a, a more colorful and a more simplified version of a y normal um, programming tool or engine? Um, yeah, so the idea is that like anybody can sort of sit on their couch and like play something and you know begin to like enjoy what uh, creating can do. So yeah, pretty much. Okay. So this is what we did create is uh, We've now created uh, like balloons spilling out into party? like endless space. Yeah, space party seems good. Okay. Um, and now that we have our little character over here, maybe we can also just like set up a camera and uh, just uh, give him just a little spotlight here. So I'm gonna go into our sort of cameras and lighting section, and I'm gonna grab a camera. And setting up a camera in Dreams is is basically that. Like I'm just going to point it at our crazy space party. I'm pretty happy with that. And so like now when we go into our level, we are in that camera and we have our sort of like explosions and balloons going off into space party. Wow. Okay. Yeah. I mean, I have a feeling that a lot of what people make in dreams uh, is going to be just like ridiculous, like easily shareable, quick kind of stuff. Oh, yeah. uh, and not actually like, um, you know, but we still have teams that are sending us their ideas for like these giant game experiences that they want to make. And that's possible too. Weil die Frage aufkam im Chat, äh, das ist ein PlayStation 4 Exklusivtitel, also eine PC-Version wird es nicht geben, das kommt nur für die PlayStation 4. Do you have a release date for this? Uh, so we don't, um, but <laughs> we are getting close and uh, our next step is beta. So we're going to be putting okay. the game into the hands of community for the first time, all the create tools uh, and seeing what they do.